Welcome to this lesson on the sine, cosine, and tangent of complementary angles. Let's go over some reminders first. Remember, complementary angles are two angles that add to equal 90 degrees. In a right triangle, one angle is right, 90 degrees. And the other two angles add to equal 90 degrees. Because we already know the three angles in a triangle add to equal 180. So if one angle is already 90, the other two have to add to 90 because 90 plus 90 gives us 180. So therefore, the two acute angles in a right triangle are always complementary because they add to equal 90 degrees. And I have some examples here, so 60 and 30, 60 plus 30 is 90, and then 20 and 70, those also add to 90. Okay, so in the next example, it says, look for a pattern. Use the triangle below to answer the questions. So this is what we went over in the previous lesson. We are finding the ratios of the sides for sine, cosine, and tangent for this triangle. So the sine of angle A, remember sine, let's write our saying, Sokotoa. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So if we're looking at angle A, this is opposite, and this is the hypotenuse, so 3 over 5. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so if I'm looking at angle A, 4 is adjacent and 5 is still the hypotenuse. And then tangent is opposite over adjacent, so 3 over 4. Okay, but remember if I'm looking at a different angle, opposite and adjacent are going to switch. So if I'm looking at angle C, now 4 is opposite and 3 is adjacent. Alright, so for sine, opposite over adjacent would be 4 fifths. For cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse, that would be 3 fifths. And for tangent, opposite over adjacent, that would be 4 thirds. All right, so I want you to pause the video now and see if you notice any type of patterns with these different fractions. And I want you to write it right here and then start the video again. Okay, so you should have noticed a few patterns. Get a different color. First of all, you should have noticed that the sine of A and the cosine of C were equal. And also, the cosine of A and the sine of C were equal. And then the last thing you should have noticed is for my tangent ratios, they are reciprocals, which just means a flipped fraction. So the ratio for the tangent of A and the ratio for the tangent of C are reciprocals. Okay, so if you didn't have those things down, go ahead and add those to your observations now. All right. In the next section, it says, again, look for a pattern. Type the following in your calculator. So if you've never typed trig ratios in your calculator, if you will grab a calculator now, and on your calculator, look for the buttons that say sine, cosine, and tangent. So for the first one, I'm going to press the sine button. And then I'm just going to type in 30. You don't have to put degrees in the calculator. And then close your parentheses and hit enter. And you should have gotten one half. If you did not get that, check your mode for your calculator and make sure that you are in degrees and not radians. All right, let's try another one, sine of 71. So sine 71, enter. Now this is going to be a long decimal. Let's just round it to the thousands place. So 9455, that would round to 946. 
Okay, pause the video now and try to type the other ones in your calculator by yourself and write down what you get. All right, for the tangent of 30, I got 0 0.577. Or some calculators may give you the square root of 3 over 3. That's the same thing. And then for cosine of 60, I got 1 half or 0 0.5. For cosine of 19, I got 0.946 again. And then if you weren't sure how to type in the last one, you can just type 1 divided by 10 of 60. And you get square root of 3 over 3 or 0 0.577 if you round. Okay, so see if you notice any patterns. And this should be very easy. The patterns are, all these are equal to each other. So the sine of 30 equals the cosine of 60. The sine of 71 is equal to the cosine of 19. They give you the same value. And then the tangent of 30 and 1 over the tangent of 60 gives us 0 0.57, the same thing. Another thing I want you to notice is the angles. So the angle measures all add to 90. So 30 plus 60 is 90. They're complementary angles. 71 plus 19 is 90. And then again, 30 plus 60 is 90. Okay, so let's talk about what that actually means. So the sine and cosine of a complementary angles will always be equal. So the sine of 30 and the cosine of 60, those are complementary angles. They both give us 0.5 or 1 half. They are equal in value. And then the tangent of complementary angles are reciprocals. which means a flipped fraction. All right, go ahead and stop the video now and you can complete the practice worksheet and then check it with your teacher.